नमस्ते प्रणाम गीता ध्यान पार्थाय प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायणेन स्वयं व्यासेन ग्रथिता पुराण मुनिना मध्ये महाभारत अद्वैतामृतवर्षिणी भगवती अष्टादशाध्यायि अंबत्वासंदधा भगवदगीते भगवद्वेषिणी ओ भगवदगीता विथ विच लॉर्ड नारायण हिमसेल्फ गेव एनलाइटनमेंट टू अर्जुन द एंशंट सेज व्यास इंक्लूडेड इट इन द महाभारत ओ गॉडेस शावर ऑफ द नेक्टर लाइक नॉलेज ऑफ नॉन डिजम कंटेंट इन युअर एटीन चैप्टर्स ओ माई एफेक्शनेट मदर द डिस्ट्रॉयर ऑफ री बर्थ आई मेडिटेट अपॉन दी सुप्रीम टीचर ऑफ द यूनिवर्स माई सैल्यूटेशन टू यू श्रीमद भगवद गीता द नाइन्थ अध्याय ऑफ द राज विद्या राज गुह योग द योगा ऑफ किंगली साइंस द सुप्रीम मोस्ट साइंस एंड राज गुह द टॉप मोस्ट सीक्रेट द मोस्ट कॉन्फिडेंशियल नॉलेज दैट श्री कृष्णा इज शेयरिंग विथ अस इन दिस नाइन्थ अध्याय and uh, today we are going to read the third shloka the second shloka that we read uh, the previous where shri uh, shri krishna clearly told us that raja vidya raja guhyam pavitram idam uttamam hmm? the, the supreme most the uh, of the highest order what is of the highest order the raja vidya and the rajaguiham the uh, kingly the supreme most knowledge and the supreme most secret hmm? pratyaksha vagamam dharmyam susukham kartav kartum avyayam i am going to tell you this great truth about the supreme most science and the supreme most uh, secret which is if followed Uh, the righteous path it can be easily practiced hmm? susukham dharmyam suksukham pratyaksha vagamam one can have the first hand experience of this knowledge of this realization following the path of dharma abiding by the righteousness one can very easily practice it susukham and kartum avyayam that is it can be performed very easily and this knowledge this rajaguya this rajavidya is imperishable once you gain that nothing can make that knowledge make that science make that secret forget from within you it can just vanish unlike other subjects other uh, you know the 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 uh, 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 mundane subjects that we study for our degrees and uh, post graduation and the doctorates and all those certificates those can be forgotten but this raja vidya this raja guiham is avyayam it is unperi- imperishable it is not the this knowledge even if one has to come back for some reason or another this is always being carried forward in that subtle form so this is what shri krishna has taught us in the second uh, shloka of the rajavidya rajaguhya yoga and let us see now what uh, he is going to tell us in the third shloka he is going to tell for whom the Uh, this path the, this uh, knowledge this science and the topmost secret is not feasible to attain shri krishna says 
अशुद्धधाना पुरुषा धर्म से परंतप अप्राप्य मां निवर्तंते मृत्यु संसार संसार वर्तमनी Now to Parantapa, Shri Krishna is uh, giving this teaching the, to the scorcherer of the foe, Arjuna who is the scorcherer, who is the destroyer of the foes, Arjuna who is the oppressor of the foes. To him Shri Krishna is giving this great teaching. O Shraddha Danaha Purusha Dharma Syasya Parantapa Parantapa. But the one who is devoid of faith, who is devoid of shraddha a shraddha danaha devoid of shraddha purushaha those people those people who are devoid of faith and a faith for which dharma syasya the devoid of faith towards following this path of righteousness because in the second shloka shri krishna has clearly told us that abiding the righteousness following the dharma it is very easy to attain this great science this great secret this great knowledge this great realization provided one is following the path of dharma but those who have no regard for dharma who have got no regard for righteousness who have got no inclination no shraddha no faith towards righteousness those people अप्राप्य मां निवर्तंते मृत्यु संसार वर्तमनी फॉर दोज पीपल अटेनिंग दिस दिस नॉलेज इज अप्राप्य दिस इज बियॉन्ड देयर यू नो मीन्स ऑफ सिक्योरिंग दैट नॉलेज इट इज इट 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 इज नॉट फॉर देम इट इज अन अटेनेबल फॉर दोज हू हैव नो श्रद्धा नो फेथ इन द धर्म and then what happens of uh, the, these people hmm? without attaining me aprapya mam since they don't attain me shri krishna says people devoid of shraddha towards dharma for them this knowledge is unattainable they, they cannot attain me they cannot have this knowledge of attaining me they cannot attain the knowledge they cannot attain me as simple as that now what happens when they cannot attain me shri krishna has been telling us time and again merge in me and get rid of this cycle of birth and death of this repetition of coming and going so shri krishna says aprapya mam they cannot attain me and then what happens to such lot such people nivartante mrutyu samsara vartmani having uh, the, the 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 they have to return nivartante they have to come back once the jivatman leaves the body the body the mind the intellect which has no faith in the dharma who don't follow the path of dharma who don't follow the path of righteousness who don't follow the path of good deed and focus their mind on me who can't gain this knowledge of how to attain me they remain uh, in the dark in the ignorance and i become unattainable to them they can't merge in me in the process they have to रिटर्न निवर्तन ते मृत्यु संसार वर्तमनी दे हैव टू अगेन कम बैक इन दिस मॉर्टल वर्ल्ड दे हैव टू अगेन कम बैक टेक बर्थ अगेन डाई एंड अगेन गेट एम्बॉडीड लाइक श्री कृष्ण टोल्ड इन द अक्षर ब्रह्म योग ऑल्सो दैट इवन इफ दे रीच ब्रह्म लोक दे हैव टू कम बैक बिकॉज दे कैन अवॉइड that coming back and going back only if the jivatman merges in the paramatman the jivatman attains to the supreme lord once it goes in that's it there is no coming back so shri krishna says that people without shraddha without devotion and without uh, uh, faith in the righteousness and for that matter shri krishna had also told us uh, in the, the in, in the previous uh, chapter that purusha sa parah partha bhaktya labhastvananyaya for me to be attained they should have 
अनस्मर्विंग डिवोशन अनन्य भक्ति अनन्य श्रद्धा सो दो नॉट हैव दिस सो सी द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ श्रद्धा सी द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ डिवोशन सी द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ भक्ति दैट श्री कृष्णा हैज बोन टॉकिंग अबाउट इन फॉलोइंग दिस पाथ ऑफ राइचियसनेस सो मेन डिवॉइड ऑफ श्रद्धा फॉर दिस धर्म do not attain me and as a consequence since they do not attain me o oppressor of foes hmm, o parantapa they return to the path of mortal world again and again they get embodied they, they take birth they live their lives they die again to come back oh, what a horrible cycle of birth and death birth and death birth and death till they attain me till they attain the liberation till they attain the nirvana now this is what happens we tell people that is this is the right way you go on this way you will reach where you want to go but in spite of repeatedly telling someone if that person prefers to go in roundabout ways how can he reach the destination that is the most unfortunate thing happening in this world the lord in different forms is again and again repeatedly telling them within bhagavad gita sri krishna has so many times taught us take this path have firm faith in me follow this path and you will reach me but we don't follow that path we create our own path thinking oh we are we have great knowledge i will do my way and then what happens i know where i have to go but no that destination is beyond my reach i just take you know side by roads and this gully that gully this i try to take a shortcut to reach that goal but it is of no use the path shown by the lord we are not following it and if i am not following that path how can i can reach that destination so shri krishna says for all those uh, uh, without any faith without any devotion without any inclination to lead the path of righteousness to lead the path of dharma hmm, they for for them i am un- un- unattainable and since i am unattainable there is no way out he cannot escape the uh, uh, cycle of birth and death the person has to again come back hmm? mrutyu samsara vartmani has to again come back in this wretched world of birth and death birth and death birth and death filled with the world filled with the illusion the world the world filled with the delusion of maya so that is shri krishna's teaching in this uh, third shloka of how those unfortunate people cannot attain liberation cannot attain moksha and they have to unfortunately again and again you know repeat this cycle so a very simple a very clear cut message have faith in the dharma have faith in the righteousness and attain to it so that was the third shloka of the raja vidya raja guhya yoga in the ninth adhyay of shrimad bhagavad gita om namo bhagavate vasudevaya shri krishna arpanamastu jay shri ram krishna jay thakur jay ma jay swami ji